Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to seal an envelope without saliva. This will be a super duper easy peasy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Let's say you want to seal an envelope and you don't want to use saliva, how do you do it? I'm going to be going over five easy methods. And if you're sealing lots of envelopes, if you are sealing many different envelopes over the course of a, of a short period of time, this is going to be the video for you. I remember when my wife and I were sending out our engagement party invitations, our wedding invitations and stuff. We had so many invitations, so many envelopes to seal that these tips and methods were extremely useful uh, because we just could not seal them all with saliva it just would not work there was so many it was ridiculous there's only two of us and we we're trying to do it all in a single night um, for each of those events separately so let's get right into this video the first thing that you can do is use a sponge i believe that's the method that we used we ended up using a sponge so what you want to do is just have a wet sponge okay a damp sponge and essentially you can just use the damp sponge just run it along the adhesive it will wet it as if you're using your own saliva, but you're not. And then just press it down to seal it like that, okay? You can also have a cup of water to dip the wet sponge in or a bowl of water, but just make sure that it's barely damp. You don't wanna use a sponge that is really wet or soaking wet, because you're gonna just soak through the envelope. So you want the sponge to be barely damp and just rub that barely dampness onto the adhesive, okay? Method number two is a glue stick, okay? So some envelopes don't actually have an adhesive. And if that's the case, you're gonna have to probably use a glue stick or something of that nature. But even if it does have the adhesive, you could just put a glue stick like this and just press it down and it's gonna actually hold really, really well. I've used that method before and it holds really, really well. The third method is tape, okay? Very simple, just get some tape like this, okay? I actually, um, I think my kids had used this last, that's why it's all peeled over over there, but it's all good. Get some tape like this. I have four young kids, so guaranteed one of them had used this to tape something on. They're not that young at this point, but I mean, um, one of them, probably my, my oldest, my son had used it to tape something onto his wall because he has all sorts of posters hung up in his room. Uh, he just put them up recently, so he for sure he used the tape. Uh, I, I, can, I can predict it. Anyways, you're gonna uh, get your tape and you can literally just tape it down. This is gonna be the most inexpensive way to seal it really easily and it's gonna be clear. You can get tape that's even more clear than this one right here, okay? So that is the third method tape. The fourth method is a sticker. If you want, if you have a special sticker, maybe with your name on it, maybe with your logo on it, if you're, if you're a company, you can brand the sticker. You can just put a sticker on here. Just make sure your sticker has good adhesive so it will stay all throughout the milling process okay lastly the fifth option this is probably the most expensive option but it is by far the most elegant and the coolest looking and that is a wax seal you can get wax seals and you can place them to seal an envelope shut, okay? And I've received invitations to uh, business marketing events and weddings with a wax seal on them and I will tell you it takes the design to a whole new level. When you see the wax seal, all of a sudden you know that it is super duper, absolutely elegant, okay? So with that being said, it is the most expensive option, but it is gonna be one of the coolest looking ones. That's it, that is how to seal an envelope without saliva, an easy tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.